what is up my riders so this is an updated video from what I just uploaded today this is going to be part two so this will be tomorrow or today as it's being uploaded but um <clears throat> just a little um, recap uh, there'll be pictures involved with my talking behind um, I did get the filter off the original video that will be shown here shows that um, I did in fact uh, get the, the uh, filter cap removed to replace the new filter with the old filter um, the location will be shown in this video and then it'll cut to um, pictures that I'll show step by step of kind of the process I couldn't get a video because I forgot my uh, video camera but I was at my dad's, I got this uh, tool, which I don't know if I have a picture of it or not, but it's it's basically this rubber strap with kind of like uh, plastic teeth that held on to it so I could just uh, grasp it using that because it's in a tight angle and you'll be able to see from the one picture and uh, untwisted it and then put the new filter in I pulled the old filter out there'll be a picture of that shown um, and yeah it was pretty straightforward and simple uh, uh, it's different than what I expected but it I guess works it wasn't too complicated once you could actually find the part um, it seems like <laughs> the newer these cars are getting the more complicated they make them so that you're more uh, inclined to take them to the shop versus doing it on your own which is kind of a pain in the ass but um, what I did was I went to the the Volkswagen certified dealership to get the part uh, the part is shown uh, it's the obvious um, yellow filter the clean one the other ones the dirty one that I replaced um, when I did the the oil changed the oil didn't have any deposits or anything which is a awesome sign I was reading in forums that people were finding deposits in their car after like 8,000 miles and stuff and mine's at the, the almost the six mark so that's a good sign and yeah and this is just kind of a, an explanation and a step by step if any of you guys are attempting to do it I think depending on what year your car is it'll vary but I think I want to say from 2013.5 and up it has similar filters to this I don't know if it's the same size and uh, diameter and um, length or not but um, yeah this hopefully can help you guys if uh, you're part of the uh, Jetta GLI community and I think the GTIs have similar ones I didn't go too far into detail with that because I don't have a GTI but hopefully this helps you guys uh, this is kinda just a quick um, update and uh, kind of my my journey my process and I thought it would be fun to to let you guys in on this it's kind of a pain in the ass it's kind of kind of fun though it's always fun to work on your car no matter what excuse you have but yeah it all worked out uh, my hair is already growing I know I always mention my hair it's already getting the length to start uh, uh, what is it called uh, start like uh, pulling it back and stuff so in a month or two I'll be able to get an actual um, haircut again from sharper images but I will get um, like an actual undercut but one that I don't know I think mine looks better shorter as an undercut versus like real long and it was real long on the top and it just got too messy so uh, stay tuned for that too and um, a lot of car videos on the way too um, if you guys have any questions about this or need me to explain it anymore leave me a comment down below if you're new here make sure to subscribe and um, I try to make videos every day um, I'm getting off of my uh, overtime soon here so it'll start becoming every day again I'm sorry for that but I'm glad you guys uh, stayed with me through it all PS4 getting close less than 130 subscribers so make sure to uh, apply to that too I put that in the description in every video 
Uh, I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Ah.